ಬಂದೆ ಗುರುಪದ್ವಂದಂ ಭಕ್ತಬಿಂದು ಸಮನ್ವಿತ ಶ್ರೀ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ಬಂದೆ ನಿತ್ಯನಂದ ಸಹೋದಿತ ಶ್ರೀ ನಂದ ನಂದನ ವಂದೆ ರಾಧಿಕಾ ಚರಣೋದಯ ಗೋಪೀಜನೋ ಸಮಯುಕ್ತ ಬಿಂದಾಬನ ಮನೋಹರ ವಾಂಚಾಕಲ್ಪತರು ವಶ್ಯಕೆ ಪಾಸಿಂಧು ಬವಚ ಅತಿಥಾನ ಪಾವುನೇಭ್ಯೋ ವೈಷ್ಣವೇಭ್ಯೋ ನಮೋ ನಮ ಮೂಕಂಕರೋತಿ ವಾಚಾಲಂಪಂಗಿ ಗಿರಿ ಜತ್ಕಪಾತಮಹಂಗ ಬಂದಿ ಪರಮಾನಂದ ಮಾಧವ ಬಿಂದಾವೈ ತುಸಿದೇ ವೈ ವಿಯಾವೈ ಕೇಶವ ಸಚ ಕೃಷ್ಣಭಕ್ತಿ ಪದೇ ದೇವಿ ಸತ್ವಭುತ್ವೈ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ನಾರಾಯಣ ನಮಸ್ಕೃತ ನರಂ ಚೈವ ನರೋತ್ತಮ ದೇವೀಂ ಸರಸ್ವತಿ ವ್ಯಾಸಂ ಪತ್ತು ಜಯೋ ಮುದೀರ ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕಥೋಪದೇಶ ಗೌರೀಯ ಪಾತ್ರ ಪ್ರಕಾಶನೆ ಚ ಸದಾನುರಕ್ತ ಗುರು ಭಕ್ತಿಯುಕ್ತ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಪ್ರಮದಾಕ್ಷ ಜಗೋದ್ವರ ಧ್ಯೇಯ ಸದಾ ಪರಿಭವನ್ನಭೀಷ್ಟೂಹ ತೀರ್ಥಾಸ್ಪದ ಶಿವಭಿರಂಚನುತ ಶರಣ್ಯ ದೀರ್ಥಾತ್ಯಹಂ ಪುನೋತ ಬಾಂಧವೀಪೂತ ವಂದೇ ಮಹಾಪುರುಷತಿ ಚರುಣರವಿಂದ ಜತ್ಪಾದಪಲ್ಲವನ ಚಂದಮನಿ ಛಟಾಯ ವಿಸ್ಫುರಜೀತಕಮಿ ಗಪಮಧುಷ್ವಾದರ್ಶ ಪೂರ್ಣಾನುರಾಗರ ಸ್ವಸಾಗರ ಸಾರಮೂರ್ತಿ ಸಾರಾಧಿ ಕಾಮಯಿ ಕದಾ ಕಿಪಾಂತರೋಷ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯನಂದ ಶ್ರೀಯಾದೈತಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವ ಸದೀ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯನಂದ ಶ್ರೀಯಾದೈತಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವ ಸದೀ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ ಆಜಾನುಲಂಬಿತ ಭುಜೋ ಕನಕಾ ಬುಧಾತು ಶಂಕೀರ್ತನೈಕಪಿತರು ಕಮಲಾಕ್ಷ ವಿಶ್ವಾಂಬರೋ ದ್ವಿಜವರೋ ಯುಗಧರ್ಮಪಾಲೌ ವಂದೇ ಜಗತ್ಪ್ರಿಯಕರು ಕರುಣಾಪತಾರು ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ನಮಿ ಗಂಗೆ ತವ ಪಾದ ಪಂಕಜ ಸುರಾಸುರೈರ್ವಂದಿತೋದಿಪರೂಪ ಭುಕ್ತಿ ಮುಕ್ತಿ ದಾಸಿ ನಿತ್ಯ ಭಾವಾನುಪೇನ್ನ ಸದಾ ನರ ಗಂಗಾತರಂಗರಮಣೀಯಜಾಕಲಾಪ ಗೌರೀ ನಿರಂತರ ವಿಭೂಷೀತ ಪಾಮ ಭಾಗ ನಾರಾಯಣ ಪ್ರಿಯ ಮನಂಗ ಮದಾಪಹಾರ ವರಾನಸಿ ಪುರಪತಿ ಭಜ ವೀಶನಾಥ ವಾಗೀಶಜುಷು ಬದನೆ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮೀರ್ಜಸ್ವ ಚ ಭಕ್ಷಿ ಜಸ್ತಿ ಹೃದಯ ಸಂಬೀತ್ ಸಿಂಗಮಹಂ ಭಜೆ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ 
तस्कर्तनम विष्णुर्जगदमंगल अंहसा महतामोपि कौरभ्यो विधकांतीकृत तस्कर्तन विष्णुर्जगदमंगल अंहसा महतामोपि कौरभ्यो विधकांतीकृत गौरी गोष्ठीपति श्री शिल भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी ठाकुर प्रभुपा परमांश जगत गुरु जी ने बताए सरस्वती गोस्वामी ठाकुर प्रभुपा जगत गुरु टोल्ड दैट यू नीड टू कॉल भगवान इन दैट सच अ वे दैट भगवान शुड जस्ट वॉच अस इन दैट द बैक एंड वी शुड ही शुड गेट बिजी टू वॉच अस हु इज एक्चुअली कॉलिंग मी गौरिया गोष्ठीपति श्री शिल भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती को स्वामी ठाकुर प्रभुपाद परमश जगत गुरु टोल्ड दैट वी जस्ट नीड टू कॉल भगवान जस्ट टू कॉल हिम ओनली वी जस्ट नीड टू कॉल भगवान दैट्स वाई वी नीड टू कॉल हिम वी शुड नॉट बी लाइक दैट दैट आवर हार्ट इज समेयर एल्स एंड वी आर समेयर एल्स इट्स इट शुड नॉट बी लाइक दैट जस्ट वेन वी विल बी कॉलिंग भगवान Bhagwan should definitely watch us at the back. That who is actually calling me? That is the actual rules of the bhajan. It should not be possible that Bhagwan we are calling Bhagwan, and Bhagwan is not at all giving us any answer. It is not at all possible. If actually some uh, some person is doing in the name of uh, bhajan, he is doing Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Okay, it's a different thing. In Bhagwat Ji Mahapuran also, it is written there. Tasma Sankirtanam Vishnu Jagadamangalam Angasa. Mahatam Upi Kaurapyo Vidhi Kanti Kaniskritam. Tasma Jasma is a sabdu kaha. Tasma Jasma, where these words are used, we just need to think of that. It means that. परीक्षित महाराज सुखदेव गोस्वामी पद स्पीकिंग टू परीक्षित महाराज और राजन दैट दिस हरिनाम संकीर्तन एनी काइंड ऑफ सिंफुल एक्टिविटीज एंड महा अपराध वॉट एवर द रिजल्ट विल बी देयर इट विल कैन वैंक्विश वैंक्विश दैट दिस हरिनाम संकीर्तन दिस हरिनाम संकीर्तन इज द top most of all this material world of this there is no nothing is up most top most than this harinam sankirtan is the top most of this material world the top most mangalmay eternal blissfulness pathway is harinam only you definitely inside your heart you can just you actually inside your heart you should uh, always have that realization inside your heart about this point what i'm speaking in that what will happen that the other person he will also will become nishthavan if you will have that full nishtha inside your heart that of glorification of harinam uh, so that the other person can also watch that and can realize that same thing inside his heart that nishtha will be just developing inside his heart also as well so that, that's why i am actually just speaking this point uh, to yesterday also that why bhakti mo thakur is actually speaking like this why bhakti mo thakur speaking like this like that those who are already in this material world this flow of material ocean who are already there there whose anya vilas is so much that uh, even uh, they are not at all actually listening to your pravachan but you know what i was speaking that whatever hari katha you are speaking they will not be ready to hear that hari katha or agar aap and if you are hari naam ka mahima you giving the glorification of hari naam to them and uh, at the same time you are just realizing the glorification of hari naam at the same time and you are doing one lakh hari naam what mahaprabhu has instructed us you are doing that at the same time slowly steadily what will happen that you will get the glorification of hari naam you will just get the kripa of hari naam 
and when the grip of harinam will be there on us then definitely our hithe will become very soft and nirmal that is actual clear thing the the clear instruction of shastra is that that when the anarth is there inside our heart then anarth is there inside our heart when anarth is there inside our heart we cannot do shuddha harinam at that point that is a clear instruction and if you are just getting the glorification of uh, harinam you are not at all uh, understanding the glorification of harinam and you are not pratishthit in harinam yourself so that is a straight clear understanding from here that you haven't understand the instructions of uh, harinam and you haven't taken the ashray of harinam it means that your heart is not out of anarth so how you can get uh, um, others to get uh, out of anarth so whatever hari katha you will uh, be speaking that will just got bounce off like a cricket ball is getting bounced off so in the similar way this will hari katha will will bounce off there is of no use useless hari katha that's why bhakti mohan thakur speaking just you yourself get the realization of the glorification of harinam you just get the realization of harinam on your own and after that then you will just give the glorification of harinam to others then definitely yeah, that this is the actual glorification of harinam so just by glorifying harinam maybe today or tomorrow definitely today or tomorrow these bonded jeevas they will just uh, get on to the positive direction something blissful will be done definitely for them like the story of jamila i wanted to tell after the tasmash shabd has been tasmat yasmat and this word jeno keno these all words are actually used there are these are used for some reason like pathatho brahma ji kya sa like immediately one person actually is doing some kind of these they are not using these kinds of words if the word is short so nobody can start with so that's why tasmat it means this glorification of ajamil he rajan you what you have heard what you have heard the glorification of harinam in this case of ajamil tasmat Well, uh, big big aparad actually it is just got nullified by this hari naam i have already given the answer of this that in satyug and treta why they are used to do this the answer is that that uh, they are actually according to the yuga dharma they are doing that particular thing they are actually the actual karuna of bhagwan that is the actual extreme karuna of bhagwan that in kalikal in kalikal chaitanya mahaprabhu has uh, instructed about the glorification of harinam before that the yug the glorification of harinam was not there it was not like that but uh, the focus was not like that much on harinam glorification like there are a very rich man who has a very much capacity to give money he is actually he actually wants that uh, he wants to do more uh, seva there is one lala babu and after that he become the disciple of krishna das baba there is one temple of lala babu his grandfather he is due at the avirbhav tithi of lala babu because he is a vaishnav that's why he is avirbhav i will not i i can speak janm tithi only at the janm tithi at that time he just wants he just give invitation on the gold foil on the golden foil he just need he always used to give letter invitation to everyone he was just writing it at that time printing was not there so each and every golden foil whatever money he has spent it he has got in there he just got the letter printed and after that he just given in that golden foil that whatever letter you are getting that it is coming in the golden foil and there is one artist he is actually sending that letter that you have to come to our place and you just come here on my because my child has taken birth so you just give and bless him so uh, it means that there's those who have that capacity more capacity they will uh, show that i have already seen that also that there is a very nice doctor 
he has lot of homeopathy total lot of uh, so good uh, uh, that uh, hospitality is doing that you can't even imagine but when uh, some mataji that uh, old lady just uh, something uh, happened to her he, she just went to that doctor and uh, but homeopathic doctor he has the homeopathic medicine so powerful that you can't even imagine so in the same way we are not at all actually uh, focusing on them so in treta yuga and satyu the glorification was there of arena but there was not so much attention on that like uh, because the age money everything when it is there with you then uh, they are they are actually just focusing on yuga dharma only at that time because they have very nice age and nice everything was there with them that's why baki and apart from that what i can speak and in this kalikal they especially kachetanya mahaprabhu has just given his instruction aparaprit instructions what mahaprabhu is written in the mahaprabhu about mahaprabhu that mahaprabhu has told us that in the shastras it is written our guru varg has already told us has written this point that bhagwan chaitanya mahaprabhu about chaitanya ko gorang mahaprabhu i have already told it yesterday also glorification of nam the prem the glorification of prem at the lotus feet of bhagwan the glorification of vrindavan the radha lotus feet of radha rani is glorification who has actually just manifested that only mahaprabhu has manifested that mahaprabhu has just get god manifested that so chaitanya mahaprabhu our guru varga and prabodhana saraswati pad has written namo rupayo namo astu nam jalpine namo so nice beautifully he has spoken this that about chaitanya mahaprabhu prabodhana saraswati speaking that you are nam himself and you are nam mai himself and you are everything nam rupayo nam astu nam jalpine namo astu nam sudhayo namo namo mai yacha aap actually the swarup of nam himself and you are all the time just uh, speaking naam from your lotus mouth those who are doing jap of arinam they are japi namastu naam shuddhai paripurna shuddha naam that uh, top most shuddha naam is just coming from your lotus mouth because naam and naam are not different from each other you are naam mai you are uh, yourself naam mai you are naam mai and you like bhagwan is speaking that i am ved i am vedant himself and ved and vedant vastu i am myself is there that's why they are just speaking like this the glorification in the shastra about hari naam and like this we can see that the glorification of hari naam is infinity so un sabhi jo and so in those yugas the glorification of harinam was not there it is not like that there was there it was there but they were actually not uh, putting that so much attention on that that's why shri chaitanya mahaprabhu especially especially that is a special gift this uh, naam prem vitran what mahaprabhu has given to us we, you can see before that our four sampradayas acharyas madhvacharya they are actually don't know about this thing that about the glorification of harinam and they don't know they know they always used to do jap everyone used to do but the glorification of harinam especially those who have just spread that 
especially those who have just focused on the glorification of Harinam, that is Shri Gorang Mahaprabhu. And apart from that, nobody has told us about this glorification of Harinam. Maybe it, in the Shastra, in Skanda Puran, Padma Puran, it is written about glorification of Harinam. In Harinam, about uh, Ramayan and Mahabharata also it is written about the glorification. Everyone has spoken, but especially who has just manifested that in front of us. Hey, you haven't uh, put any effort on your Harinam. Not at all focusing on this point. This is the point which Mahaprabhu is speaking to us. Prabhupada always used to speak that when Nam Prabhu and Nami Prabhu, when you will be calling him, you just need to call him like that so that he just get attracted to us and just run for us. So in this way, just by Bhakti Bhav, you just need to call him. Bhagavan Nam just need to speak his name, that is actually Bhakti. Krishna, who will get, get, get attracted to that person? Prabhupada actually, one question, uh, some person was asking, Prabhupada actually speaking, that Krishna is actually taking this Krishna Nam, that it means this only, that Krishna, those who is attracting this infinity Brahman, Krishna, who is all attractive. Krishna Vastu, this absolute Vastu, Krishna, what is Krishna Vastu? Krishna Ki Vastu means what is Krishna Vastu? What is Chaitanya Mahaprabhu? In order to just understand that, you just need to uh, leave all kind of bad association, but you are not at all leaving them. You are not at all uh, ready to leave that. In your life actually, you have, have haven't taken any decision regarding this. That what we need actually. We need actually wife, child or this sansar or we need Krishna. In Bengali there is one, one it is written. In Bangla it is written there. I have just heard it in the childhood. If you need Sham, if you need Sham Sundar, then definitely you need to, uh, you just don't need to worry about the uh, tension of your family. If you will just come into the tension of this family, then you just need to leave Sham Sundar. Uh, both, of, both of the cases will not be possible at the same instant. So this uh, Nam Shravan, that kind of uh, Yogeta you should get at uh, also in order to hear about the glorification of Nam. You should get that. This kind of capacity you should have. That Shravan Yogeta should also have that. For that Prabhupada used to speak that his oral reception, that he should get that maturity. So he should just hear more and more Harikatha. After that, uh, you just need to speak later on about Harikatha. Lot of incidents are there about Harikatha Kirtana is going on and at one place and one Grihasti. In the house of Grihasti, he is a big Vaishnav and he is actually uh, one person is just coming in front of Prabhupada and speaking that there is one child actually just, uh, oh Prabhupada actually one child just uh, went into fire, oh my God, Prabhupada actually speaking in very peaceful mode, he is speaking that where Harinam Sankirtan is going on, where no Amangal will come at all, you just see. And he just went there and seen, oh, very surprising that this child was just went into the fire and he, nothing happened to the child. He, nothing, child just uh, come out of the fire. How it is possible? No burn, no burn was there on his body. Everything is possible by Harinam. That is the glorification of Harinam. Where the Harinam of Bhagwan is going on, there is no Amangal at all there. If it is coming, then definitely that is not Nam Sankirtan. Maybe some Nam Aparad was going on. Just be careful. Just carefully you see that. Maybe Nam Aparad must be there. That's why it is not at all possible. So, Krishna Vastu is just attracting the whole world, infinity world. The Vanchi Bani of Bhagavan Shri Krishna flute, the voice coming, a transcendental sound coming from the flute, the Swaroop is all attractive. Prabhupada speaking that Krishna who will who, who, Krishna will attract whom? 
like a magnet he is act- that magnet is just getting attracted to steel it will not attract any wooden piece what does it mean a magnet is there it will definitely attract the steel only it will definitely attract the steel only and if uh, some plastic and wooden pieces here it will not attract that thing. why so we have so much passiveness inside our hearts so insulation is there that we are not getting any contact our atma is not getting contact with bhagwan like electricity work we are doing at a high voltage line they what they are doing that they are just taking all the insulation by using rubber materials on their body they are just taking a rubber shoes and rubber gloves everything with rubber fiber of rubber they are taking precautionary measures to do the electricity work and they just used to go for electricity work But inside our heart so much passiveness is there that when we are just speaking hari naam everything is going on but still that passiveness is there so krishna naam and krishna madhuri and krishna leela net krishna swarup krishna form krishna qualities are definitely will attract us definitely but our passiveness should we are not at all seven mukh that's why prabhupada speaking those who are taking the who is the actually servant of hari naam that passiveness will not be there inside his heart the those who are seven mukh they are feeling attraction they are being attracted by bhagwan bhagwan ka naam by bhagwan bhagwan naam they are attracted so this is the rules actually like this we have to follow and uh, we the material world is just uh, attract, attracting us because jeev is that us the jeev anywhere he can go whether he can go towards bhagwan or either he will just attracted towards maya in at the last time also to become siddh to become siddh to become paramans this kind of uh, this kind of question this possibility will be there whether when he is doing naam gaan hari naam sankirtan when you will become siddh in that then definitely there will be no problem for you at that at that time but before that each and every point there is barrier thorn thorns for you that's why proper speaking that each and every point of jeev like kala krishna we all are the representative of kala krishna hum sab we are all representative of kala krishna das maya mein akrish in maya when we in, just to get attracted towards maya is not possible but still we are getting attracted ab now actually hari naam sankirtan that is the top most uh, in all the shastra sri rajan to do naam sankirtan it has so much power that that the most sinful activity will definitely will be destroyed and uprooted from its root hari naam sankirtan is the top most sarvesh mangalmay anushthan of all the material world you can just uh, can have this realization regarding this point you yourself should realize this point shukdev goswami was speaking to parikshit maharaj why because you are actually important personality you are a devotee so in order to when you will be doing the whole material world it also be following you lot big big actually those people actually are doing material people just by seeing them they are following them as an example and they are uh, following him as well definitely other persons will also do what that shlok is it is written there the all big big personalities are there those which they are doing the activities those people are also following him in this way bhakti vinod thakur has just told this and have not told anything that you just get yourself get uh, pratishthit in uh, hari naam and you just realize the glorification of hari naam yourself 
and definitely slowly steadily you will go ahead whatever preaching activities you have inside your heart definitely will get come out successful in that you just be focused on one point that shri jatanya mahaprabhu have we haven't seen and have haven't heard about this and haven't heard also this point where we can see about the gorang leela we have just taken birth now and we haven't heard that also we are just hearing this only there is no picture regarding that also means that picture we haven't seen the picture like that like the we have according to realization of mahajan there is no picture like mahaprabhu when going to jharikhand and he he has clicked one picture for that no no there is no picture but still there is the mind the mind of human being is so strong that they have just by bhakti they have just portrayed the picture of mahaprabhu still it is possible like that if actually just going into that uh, deep realization then definitely bhagwan will just uh, uh, give the realization of his swarup so much that uh, it can be possible in the dream lot of uh, uh, in the dream bhagwan coming and speaking uh, i look like this you just manifest myself in front of uh, the whole world like this so the thing is that mahaprabhu from abirbhav till 48 years at the end of his leela uh, up till that point when mahaprabhu has just been in his zero bhav leela when he just uh, went uh, Oh, from is this material world in between that we haven't seen and haven't heard this and we haven't seen in the picture also that when mahaprabhu is not uh, is just left harinam sankirtan and doing something else when he just got uh, uh, abhirbhav in the childhood from that point till when all the matajis of village and all child when they just want to speak hare krishna hare krishna when this he started crying it means it just become uh, one kind of uh, uh, habit that just by doing harinam this child will just get stop crying so in order to just uh, do harinam for each and every one in this whole world that when he was just speaking harikatha also mahaprabhu there he was just speaking harikatha there it it doesn't happen like that ha huh, it just happened one time that when he just went to kirshora gopinath in ba- in baleshwar when mahaprabhu just went there there is one incident mahaprabhu just speaking there in baleshwar and uh, this sakshi gopal uh, this kind of story also mahaprabhu told but if you will speak harikatha yes it is harikatha only it is one kind of transcendental incident this is a prakrit incident a prakrit incident which mahaprabhu is speaking but whatever mahaprabhu is speaking about by the in the form of harikatha only he has spoken and he has also spoken the glorification of harinam as well just by the realization to that person mahaprabhu is speaking that mahaprabhu is speaking that he is actually glorifying harinam this kind actually the uh, effect of harinam that how harinam in odisha jagannath puri when this pradumna mishra is speaking to harina uh, mahaprabhu that i want to just hear hari hari katha from you from a lotus mouth then mahaprabhu speaking that uh, hari katha you know actually i don't know at all okay i am actually just hearing it from rai ramanand he is actually not here so you do one thing you go to his house and uh, just here hari katha i just went there to i also went there to rai ramanand house it is between pramgiri and ananath and jagannath puri in between that that place is here if you will go to it is like 21 22 kilometers it means that it is more 10 kilometers away i have just taken ma prasadam there also lot of time before it is not that today's uh, time so at that time pradyumn mishra just uh, want to hear hari katha from your lotus mouth mahaprabhu speaking that you see i can't i don't know hari katha i am just hearing hari katha from rai ramanand i am just hearing hari katha from him and rai mar mahashay is not here so you do you go to his house and just hear hari katha from him so especially mahaprabhu actually is just uh, giving the glorification of harinam in front of someone especially glorification of harinam is telling 
and whatever actually mahaprabhu has just uh, spoken hari katha has just heard from swarup damodar rai ramanand everything he has heard from them there is no uh, example that mahaprabhu just started speaking hari nam so it means that it is not at all difficult that uh, mahaprabhu is just uh, want to glorify hari nam has just came on this material world and in order to glorify hari nam then definitely it is equal to hari katha only it is not uh, more it is not uh, less than hari katha hari katha is top most diksha uh, like parikshit maharaj about diksha of parikshit maharaj samban is just putting some question so what will be the question that sukhdev goswami has also already given the answer regarding this At the last, what is the actual conclusion? That uh, ma- what is the actual conclusion of Bhagwan Ji Maharaj? That Hari Nam is the topmost. Whatever mantra Guru Dev has given to me, whether it is if Bhagwat is not coming out from the lotus mouth of Guru Dev, then definitely I will be uh, uh, knowing the mantra. What is mantra? That is Hari, and what is Hari? That is Guru. So, Parikshit Maharaj, about the diksha process, there is any fault in that? Where he has taken diksha? Where Parikshit Maharaj taken diksha? Who is the actual Guru? Are you foolish? Sukhdev Goh Swami Bhad is Guru Dev or Parikshit Maharaj? Paramanshreshtu. Where actually I have given mantra? He has just spoken Bhagwat Katha. Bhagwat Katha and Krishna is not different. And whatever was to that Guru Dev is just want to give it to me. That is not different from Guru Dev. So, sambandh abide prayojan Prabhupada speaking. That sambandh abide prayojan, that actual activation inside our heart, that is the actual process of diksha. What is the actual thing? What diksha? We will be just taking diksha, and I have just taken this from my. Oh, you just give me pranami. You just take, give me puja. What is the actual? Uh, Uh, target of us just to take diksha what is the actual target just to get divya gyan inside our heart and divya gyan will not come without hari nam just be hearing bhagavat katha and sambandh abide priyojan it will not activated inside your heart then it is useless where mahaprabhu has gone whether in at present bangladesh or whether in south india or north india wherever mahaprabhu has gone mahaprabhu has just manifested about sambandh abide priyojan that just spoken about that and at the same time he is doing naam sankirtan all the time he has told about the glorification of hari nam everywhere that you do naam sankirtan whether whether swarup ne ka kya samadhan hai mere ko karwa how actually you just given me that subuddhi rai that you are giving me that sour water you the different different kind of things somebody is telling me that you just take uh, jump into fire prabhu actually speaking you just don't do anything you go to mathura and there you just do continuous spontaneous hari nam slowly steadily everything will get rectified to subuddhi rai mahaprabhu speaking there are different kind of infinity examples regarding the glorification of hari nam Lot of examples are there. In Chaitanya Bhagavat, Chaitanya Charitamrita, in Skanda Puran, in Padma Puran, Bhagavad Gita, Mahapuran, Vishnu Puran, where not every everywhere the proofs are there. So Mahaprabhu actually just speaking about the glorification of Hari Nam in such a beautiful way. He has just preached that in the whole material world. That and at the same time he has just got uh, already has just given that uh, shakti that power in this Hari Nam definitely. Otherwise, how it is just like a magic spell. Mahaprabhu is actually just uh, uh, telling Manam Sankirtan to everyone. It is a very strange thing that in the village also, who when he is just uh, giving uh, speaking Hari Nam, that village persons will become mad in Hari Nam. How it is possible? Mahaprabhu speaking that okay, you go. Mahaprabhu actually in this every power it Mahaprabhu has given wherever you will go to do Nam Sankirtan, everyone become mad. and started crying how it is possible so mahaprabhu actually especially this uh, glorification of naam just taking the support of hari naam because he is nami himself i have already told you now namo astu naam roopayo namo astu naam jalpine namo astu naam suddhayo namo
What I have told you that you are Swam Nam Mai, you are Nami himself. You are Swam Nam himself. You are just speaking that uh, Kirtan of uh, Nam Sankirtan yourself. And you are spreading the glorification of Nam himself. So Nam is actually, you are just spreading the glorification everywhere. And uh, today actually, for now, after so much time, we are just getting the Hari Katha and the Hari Nam glorification we are getting, very less. So Mahaprabhu has just uh, made a background of Hari Nam, Hari Katha. He has just glorified Hari Nam. And that effect of Hari Nam is so much everywhere Hari Nam is there. Everywhere you can see Hari Nam effect. That Ram Japi, though that those who are speaking Ram Nam, they are also Mahaprabhu has just went. And uh, in the fr front of them, they are, that person is actually speaking from childhood that there is actually one, um, uh, that wherever there is glorification of Harinam, definitely he used to collect that. I am actually collecting everything where there is glorification of Harinam Prabhu. This kind of slope, everything we, three days, day by day, we will be just discussing it. Very beautiful, actually, this glorification of Harinam is. So, Tasmat, why we are speaking here, this word, actually, Rajan, whatever that uh, prasang of Harinam, that uh, surprising story of Ajamil you have heard, in this glorification of Harinam, you can understand, no? That I want to just speak. That Ajamil has that uh, surprising story of Ajamil and Yamdut and Vishnu Dut, whatever the uh, discussion was going on in between them. That uh, discussion was going on. Uh, only Bhagwat Nam, that glorification of Harinam, is there. Parikshit Maharaj is just hearing it with full confidence, with full. Uh, focus he was just hearing and after that hearing Parikshit Maharaj just became very uh, unhappy just by hearing that uh, infinity glorification of Harinam as if it looks like that Parikshit Maharaj become unhappy so then Sukhdev Goswami just actually if you are just taking this slok under the guidance of some Guru Vaishnav this actually Ajamil actually it is spoken about that. I will definitely come to this point later. I have just uh, speaking about Sukhdev Goswami. Sukhdev Goswami is just uh, uh, just focusing on Parikshit Maharaj and is just uh, watching Parikshit Maharaj. That Rajan, he has just went into some... Uh, he has just went uh, into some asylum. Like he has just become so much bhavuk, full of bhava. He is just getting into deep into that. So this glorification of Harinav, after the hearing that, Parikshit Maharaj was just uh, uh, went into some other uh, dimension. He has just become very unhappy. And he all also want to just hear about the more glorification of Harinam. Sukhdev Goswami is just speaking more about the glorification of Harinam. He is all the time Parikshit Maharaj uh, asking to come. Oh, Anabha, oh Rajan, like this, he is just calling Parikshit Maharaj. Because he uh, more things are there uh, to tell him. How it is possible that... That Vishnu Dut Darshan and uh, that Vakunt Parshad Darshan, he, he has just got the Harinam glorification from the lotus mouth of Vaishnava Parshad. And immediately, surprisingly, there is actually transformation of Ajamil and he just got that Bhakti Bhav inside his heart. Sukhdev Goswami Bhav more want to speak about that. And he is just getting ahead. I have already told this uh, like two days before that there is no surprising thing in that that just by taking Vaishnav Darshan everyone, every person can become pure just by taking Vaishnav Darshan everyone can become pure and uh, this kind of Vakunt Parshat those who are just like Narayan they are externally just looking like Narayan only 
so just from their lotus mouth the glorification of harinam they are just hearing after that ajamil he has just got that bhakti will is a surprising thing for him no definitely because from uh, the root what kind of sinful activities of prad all get uprooted from the root and not like that but also by sadhu sang that bhakti definitely that is the actual uh, uh, vidhan of shastra actual conclusion of shastra he has just uh, heard the full glorification of arina and he definitely that bhakti lata le uh, seed was definitely there inside his heart activated sprouted and uh, what what kind of expiration he has done after that lot of uh, that transformation we can see in ajamil and after hearing the glorification of harina he actually this ajamil he sinful activity or to is going destroyed very easy thing he just got bhakti as well yamraj ji maharaj and uh, yamdoot it is uh, not nothing is impossible for them that he has done so much sinful activities you just take him to me that is the natural age what he has is just getting reduced that is quite possible so this vichar he has just came and after that they have just seen that vishnu dad just speaking that they have just spoken the name of harinam they have already done all the kind of expiration for their sinful activities and ajamil whatever that full age he has uh, for that he just need to stay in this material world that is given to him back and now you are just be uh, thinking that uh, that ajamil was already there at the time of that he was he will die then how he has become uh, uh, how he has uh, just uh, become fully healthy at that point i have just spoken about that assam uh, incident one person has just taken that uh, diksha i don't think so he has taken or not but he has taken harinam from prabhuvar and after that when yamdoot came he has at the time of that he is just speaking oh prabhupa prabhupa like this he just started crying it means that prabhupa means uh, he is not different from goram babrabh and he is just speaking to his wife her wife you just bring my harinam mala prabhupa has just pro- give him protection and after that uh, how much time he has left in his life he is just uh, for his whole, whole age he is just doing harinam and after that he is just leaving body after that that is possible so that's why he got the full age uh, you just uh, uh, live full your full age in this manner sukhdev goswami He is just speaking to Vishnu. Do uh, Sukhdev Goswami is just uh, speaking that uh, at the time of that, that Ajamil just went to that the time of that, just to get out of that uh, situation and the expiration of Ajamil and so much uh, austerity and penances Ajamil is doing. that expiration everything was there dispensations no ajamil has done and she has just taken the siddh darshan of siddh mahapurush la vishnu dut he just got out of the material bondage by taking their darshan and after that when he just uh, became alive again just like a rebirth for him and when when vishnu dut has just gone away after that and uh, yamdoot also just uh, gone from that place and after that ajamil that inside his heart is become so pure and that vairagya just got activated inside his heart and he can understand that uh, for my whole life i have just give all the sinful activities and all vibhichar and aparad i have done in my life so each and every enjoying mood also just went away and he just got out of the cycle of uh, this material bondage and he just has taken a decision then now i will not stay here i will not stay here in this material life more and in the shastras also in chitanya jita amrit it is written you can understand this point 
इट इज नॉट लाइक दैट दैट फ्रॉम टुमारो आई विल डू साधु संघ इट्स नॉट लाइक दैट साधु संघ इज नॉट सच अ चीप थिंग इन चैतन्य चित्रामृत ऑल्सो दिस सिद्धांत इज ऑलरेडी रिटर्न थिंकिंग साधु there is lot of example like that but now surprisingly how you are just getting this uh, inside your heart you are realizing that definitely you should get sadhu sang in your life what actually is special today that you want that that is, that's why we, when you are very lucky this i have already given this explanation about this that what is anubhagya what is that topmost luck just to get uh, bhakti we have already told this point that bhakti is uh, uh, independent top most independent and jeev goswami pad actually speaking that this uh, anubhagya anubhagya means those who are that is actually uncertain that is a uncertain thing what do you mean by anubhagya jeev goswami pad actually speaking that is called koi bhagya koi bhagya kon bhagya means bale kina pi parama satantro bhagavat bhakto sangho tak ki pa jato mangala de param satantro that param satantro that in top most independent param pure guru vaishnav if you are doing their uh, sangha and whatever kripa they are giving on us that is a top most mangal for us that is called kona bhagya in madhurya kadambani i am already already told this point that bhakti kiska that bhakti who will do kripa on that person particular person so that is the actual meaning what i told you now uska upar bhakti devi ka kripa bhakti devi will do kripa on that I have already given this answer in uh, that uh, Madhurya Kadambani. So in that book, I am just speaking that in Bengali Katha. I have also speaking about the glorification of Hari Nam in that also previously. So, I have already have that inside my heart that I will do sadhu song. It will be done. It will not be done like that. So in this is not the case like that. So in this like that. Without. It is written there like this. Whether just to get sadhu sang, that is the actual kripa of Bhagwan. When our just material bondage is cut off, and and with the topmost uh, ashray, we are just uh, some kripa of sadhu or uh, pure Vaishnav is getting on me. Definitely, that jiva will get the topmost mangal. This kind of mangal it is written there. A jamil. A jamil, so a jamil actually is just uh, in a very small time, just by getting the sang of Vishnu Dut, but still he has just got the topmost sang. 
for a very small time and now you can just understand it is written there sadhu sangho sarva sasthi ko hai Then actually it is written there in Chaitanya Chiritamrit that even when you are divided one second by eleventh portion, one by eleventh, that much time is more sufficient. That prema we will get. So in this, it is not a big thing. A jamil in a very small time. In a very small time, a jamil inside his heart, this kind of all incident just has happened in his life. In a very small time, and Shankaracharya also, it is written there. What is written? साधु संघ इज जस्ट लाइक अ बोट ऑल दी श्लोक आर देयर सो वॉट इज द ग्लोरिफिकेशन ऑफ साधु संघ वाई बिकॉज जस्ट बाई डूइंग साधु संघ द ग्लोरिफिकेशन इज इज देयर वाई बिकॉज दे आर ऑल द टाइम भगवत नाम दे आर एक्चुअली प्रतिष्ठित इन दैट इफ दे आर नॉट एट ऑल प्रतिष्ठित इन भगवान नाम देन हाउ इट इज पॉसिबल then definitely nothing will happen in this material world we are just doing the sang of some uh, material person that is not sadhu sang sadhu just to get the glorification of sadhus the actual glorification is they are all the time pratishtit in hari nam they have realized the glorification of hari nam in uh, and they are all the time calling bhagwan all the time they have that realization inside their heart that's why If uh, some vastav sadhu, some one become a vastav sadhu, actual sadhu. In sadhu sang, what will happen? Some market katha will be there. No, nothing. In sadhu sang means that uh, only Bhagwat naam will be there. No, naam sang kitan will be there. That's it. So in this way. A jamil inside his heart that uh, topmost viragya just got uh, manifested. That is not a small thing. And he just went after that to Haridwar, and all this uh, sinful prostitute. He has just uh, left his association, her association, and went to Haridwar. And there, actually, he is just doing, doing Hari Bhajan there, and just by slowly suddenly doing Hari Bhajan. and he just left his body there and that's why it is written that a jamil sab aap hi bolte hai every person is speaking that a jamil also has uh, has went to vaikuntha and before that uh, you just uh, speak, need to speak about him that how it is happened so in this way evam sa viplavit sarva dharma dasha Sinful activity is what he has done, and has just left uh, samastha dharma. Why it is samastha dharma? What kind of dharma? 
we thought that only only Bhagavad Dharma is there. Okay, Bhagavad Dharma we have just heard, but Dharma there are different kind of general dharmas are there. Samaj Dharma, Lok Dharma, these kind of different general dharma are there. That body dharma and mind dharma. So all these he is just getting out of that dharma. And just by just getting rid of all these dharma, he has just this uh, all these vishay just need to he has just left all the kind of satsang he definitely will be going to nark but that confirmed ticket was there to go to nark definitely he just needs to go to hell but what happened immediately there is something very surprising thing happened at that in that uh, same train just that time just need to go to that and what happened that accident just came in uh, Baleshar and lot of persons were just killed in the plane ticket I just want to go and in that plane only that accident happened so this is actually you can't understand this is very surprising so so who actually, when he just wants already on the verge of death but still he is not dead why because this Bhagwan just by Harinam only one Nam of Krishna this all kind of uh, uh, difficulties has just vanquished from his life what it's written here that Bhagwan Nam just by taking that Bhagwan definitely he used to go to hell but still he is saved that Sukhdev Goswami Pad actually speaking here What it's written that that Bhagwan just by taking the Sri Charan of that Bhagwan that all the kind of material sinful activities and aparad so kind of problems we are just facing definitely we'll just get out of that it's very it is a possible and just by taking the Naam Gon characteristics by Kirtan of that all those Muktikari persons that we are just leaving that karma we are leaving that karma there is no other uh, 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 Mukti Kami Vyakti those they are actually just uh, just leaving all those karma it is not at all possible for them those who want that karma karma is the topmost mool for them and they those mukti that there is no other sadhan for them all those mukti kamis so for that's why why that's why by this only that our um, mind we can have that asakti with that material karma that just after getting out of that asakti of that material karma we can just get out of that and if we are just speaking about other expiration processes uh, we are giving some other expiration processes that Rajsik, Tamsik and Bhav will not be uh, getting out of uh, our heart our heart will become uh, like uh, sore in a detasteful condition it will come So apart from that, there is no other pathway. So after that, Sukhdev Goswami Padi actually has given this conclusion in front of Parikshit Maharaj. Jadapi Amangalu Martu Vishnu Loke Mahiyate 
इन टुडे को लिव इन प्रयाग फॉर अकल्प एंड टू जस्ट गिव ऑल द गोल्डन कॉइन्स टू ब्राह्मण बट इट इज नॉट एट ऑल इक्वल टू गोविंद नाम नथिंग इज इक्वल टू गोविंद नाम नथिंग इज इक्वल टू गोविंद नाम लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स आर देर इंग गरुड़ पुराण सहस्रम नित्यम फलम हे भोपाल हे राजा टुडे लॉट ऑफ राज यू आर डूइंग थाउजेंड्स ऑफ राज यू आर डूइंग If every day you are doing one thousand day watch me, yoga you are doing. If you want the fruit of that, yoga Rajan, he Bhopal, that Govind complete Govind Kirtan you do. Everything will be done in that only. Everything will be done in that only. And now he is speaking about the. Mahaprabhu has done that his whole life he has just uh, become Nam Mai, full of Hari Nam. Whether you are taking, sleeping, drinking, eating, whatever you are doing, and whether you are just uh, doing association with your wife, every day, every time you just need to do Krishna Nam. Just make your life Krishna Mai. All the time you just to do Hari Nam Sankirtan. You just accept Hari Nam. That is the topmost thing. so that is the glorification of hari naam to phir bhagwan so that uh, bhagwan naam sarvo karma to evi kal praman kiya i have already told that yesterday also that in bhagwan naam definitely all the material bondage any kind of material bond will get destroyed i have just told it 10 days back that what those who are doing hari naam that was taking already pratishtit in hari naam means that who is doing hari naam of bhagwan all the time iska liye for them nothing is impossible for them iska liye kuch for them nothing is impossible that bale ye jo that uh, this whole material world this everybody can worship him tamam duniya is the whole world can just worship that person that is the actual glorification of hari naam like namachari ardash thakur we are we have just heard about his birth life and we have just uh, he is all the time doing hari naam he is actually namacharya all the time he is doing hari naam this whole material world is just doing glorification of uh, namacharya is just talk just uh, if we just got a slight association of haridas thakur still mahaprabhu also speaking uh, speaking himself that when haridas will be speaking that prabhu it seems that you will go from this material world this leela actually just uh, going away from this material world i am thinking so you just give me this uh, promise that i will not be able to see this uh, leela i will be going before you so when haridas thakur actually just speaking this then mahaprabhu uh, just uh, giving him answer 
that Haridas, whatever actually Leela is there, it is just uh, focused on you. If you will go away, then what will happen? Haridas Thakur speaking that uh, lot of insects like me, if one insect will just get die in this whole infinity Brahman, then what will be your... Uh, then nothing will happen to you. Lot of insects like me are there in this whole infinity Brahman. So what will be the actual, um, what will be the problem for you? There will be no reduction in you. So uh, the whole material world will be just giving, uh, will be glorifying Haridas Thakur. That is a very small thing. Why? Because Haridas Thakur, all demigods are also just uh, uh, doing worshipping him. That is also a very small thing. Haridas Thakur actually just Bhagwan will worship him. That is a very big thing. You see, those who are doing Harinam, all those Mahapurush, this whole material world, this actually, is, this kind of bhav is there. That Swayam Bhagwan, who is Swayam Bhagwan himself, he is actually is just worshipping and respecting Haridas Thakur. And he is just taking Haridas Thakur in his lap when he is just leaving his body. And just by doing Nitya, he has just went to the ocean. And in that ocean, with his own hand, he has just given bath to the body of Haridas Thakur. And after that, he has taken Haridas Thakur in, in between that. That is sea beach. There is one place. He has just taken Haridas Thakur there. And at that place, he has just... Uh, uh, taken that uh, place there and just uh, put his transcendental body in that place and after that just giving some sand on his body after that and Bhagwan Swayam has done this Mahaprabhu. this Samadhi from Samadhi from the beginning from the beginning till the, at the time of death from his beginning till the end Mahaprabhu has just given just giving distributing prasadam that is also Seva so Naam, so just get manifested in Harinam, that material world will be just respect him in that is a very little thing. Those uh, heaven demigods also are uh, just worshipping him and just give, taking Aarti of him and all the respecting him and Swayam Bhagwan also is just respecting him and worshipping him. That this Bandara has done after that giving Samadhi and just doing some Kirtan and just started crying when Haridas Thakur left body, whatever, what not he has done. So in Bhagavad Nam, definitely this material uh, worship, persons will worship him, that is uh, quite possible. It in Brahma Naharad, Upanishad it is written. Those who are actually speaking uh, Jagannath Narayan, Vasudev Janardhan, all these they are doing Kirtan of this Harinam all the time uh, those who are doing kirtan of this harinam definitely those people in each and every corner of this material world they are actually just getting glorified at each and every corner of this material world whether she is that is Sri jati or whether shudra or whether very low caste devotee those who are no, those who are doing the harinam sankirtan with full bhakti bhav inside his heart, definitely these people have just paid dandavat onto the lotus feet. All the time those who are doing Nam Sankirtan, whether Villiva is there, whether Shabri Mother is there, or whether Lakshagira, Pros is there. Nothing uh, is there. Those who are doing all the time Harinam, you just need to take their lotus feet on the head. Because Bhagavad Nam has so much glorification. There's all these uh, material people, they are just doing his vandana, he is worshipping that person who is doing Harinam all the time. And just by Bhagavad Nam, now that is a very in-depth uh, vichar in this, that why our Mahajans, all those Paramans Mahajans, at that last time has shown us that uh, apart from Nam nothing is there. Uh, maybe before he has done lot of seva, but at the last time when he just go, that Nam Bhajan is the ultimate procedure. Apart from Nam Bhajan, nothing is there. 
those they don't have any kind of procedure apart from that there are a lot of limbs of bhakti in other limbs of bhakti they don't have and that much interest at last why because because naam bhajan everything all bhaj, all kind of bhajan is there naam bhajan is complete bhajan mahapurush the all those mahapurush and mahajan this kind of vichar is there that is a special realization what they have just uh, have in actual what kind of realization they are getting by naam sankirtan they have just told that in front of us that bhagwat naam by bhagwat naam all all kinds of by any how anywhere in any condition by the help of harina by harinam we can serve uh, hari by hari for hari das thakur hari namacharya hari das thakur ji it is written that hari das thakur we used to do 3 lakh harinam and everything is harinam for him and he is just to do take madhukari and just should do take some prasadam and he just used to serve tulsi plant and just need to give some uh, water in that and just doing parikrama of that tulsi just need to give water that is the top most seva for him and by this naam sankirtan only by this seva only he has he has just become so much uh, lucky that he has just got into the lap of uh, mahaprabhu and and mahaprabhu is just doing dancing while he is leaving his body so you see what kind of thing it is so bhag bhai bhagwat naam each and every time we have just seen it uh, uh, that when our gurudev we don't have the power to get up but still hari gurudev always used to do hari naam so like this in the vishnu dharmotra puran also it is written that oh you the by in the presence of this hari naam sankirtan that whatever place time and whatever is there even the if he, that person has not taken a bath and not even brushing his teeth also still he can do hari naam when that topmost pavitra hari his naam actually is also pure this pure hari naam how it can become uh, impure that hari is swayam himself is pure that how his name can become impure how this naam sankirtan in his naam sankirtan that impure con- con- condition can come how that contamination can come it means that all the time hari naam is topmost that just by doing his naam sankirtan that is the topmost procedure apart from this there is no other that mukti daitva just by naam abhas na by naam was we get mukti and whatever vaikunth lok we will be getting and uh, bhagwan will become very attracted to us and bhagwan will uh, will be pleasing for bhagwan and all these things will happen these are lot of examples about this so in padma purana also it is written All the time we just need to do Bhagwat Naam and just to remember Hari Naam. That is good. That and not to forget Bhagwan. It is not good at all good. And the infinity diseases what we want to cure. That is the actual prevention and cure of all the diseases. This Hari Naam. So like this it is. now we can uh, have seen that that to sadhu sir always pratishthit in hari naam all the time by this word uh, that uh, with sadhu san krishna bhakti hari naam sankirtan slowly steadily what will happen we will just cut this material bondage by janma mol the very root cause of this uh, birth in here actually one point we just need to discuss that there are three kinds of people can become siddha like tulsidas ji has already speak spoken this point 
तुलसीदास जी ऑल्सो स्पीकिंग दिस पॉइंट दिस तुलसीदास जी हेज टोल्ड लाइक ज्ञान बाय हैविंग दैट योग देर इज वन प्लेटफॉर्म फॉर दैट बाय हरी कथा वेन वी आर जो डूइंग रूप गुण लीला फॉर्म करेक्टरिस्टिक एवरीथिंग इट इज नॉट डिफरेंट फ्रॉम हरी एंड एस्पेशली दिस नाम एंड नामी आर नॉट डिफरेंट फ्रॉम ईच अदर दे आर एक्चुअली एटर्नली प्रेजेंट एंड दे आर जस्ट एटर्नली प्रेजेंट and there is uh, no outside thing there in that no material contamination is there and naam and nami are non different from each other that is already written in the shastras so propaji so, actually speaking those who are griha meda they are actually in griha and those who are sankirtan meda they are just actually nursing that sankirtan meda prabhupada actually used to speak this point griha meda that griha meda and sankirtan meda there are two kinds of things griha meda means that your when your material sansar and he is just thinking of that uh, thing and is very brave in thinking all those kind of things related to this material things if he is just doing sadhu seva also that is also griha meda for him because he has material things all the time inside his heart so he'll be just doing that so prabhupada always used to speak that griha meda and sankirtan meda they are not at all equal griha meda ke dwara by griha meda ghar ka andar mein inside our house ghar ka vishay mein that we are just getting a shakti in the material things in material objects we are getting a shakti like shankar bhagwan ko shankar bhagwan daksh prajapati has just disrespected shankar bhagwan that is griha meda that is griha meda and his name is daksh prabhupa speaking that his name is daksh why daksh means efficient iska naam kyun daksh why his name is daksh you know his name why his name is daksh prabhupa is actually speaking that he is actually efficient in material matters he is very much efficient in material matters it means that daksh prajapati that that is just to give birth to a child and in his own profit and loss he is just uh, discussing whatever profit is there what is loss is there he is very expert that's why his name is daksh daksh prajapati his name is daksh prajapati daksh means he is a very unique person of this material world who is all the time busy in material things and objects and brahma ji actually speaking this so he is actually becoming a very daksh in these things efficient in this like the shukracharya uh, name i prabhupada has just given definition शुक्र आचार्य मीन्स दैट जनन द केशव गोस्वामी महाराज ऑल्सो हैज जस्ट गिवन दिस शुक्राचार्य मीन्स शुक्र आचार्य दैट जनन आचार्य हाउ वी कैन गेट मटीरियल बॉडी एंड मटीरियल प्रॉफिट एंड लॉस वील बी गेटिंग ही इज वेरी मच एफिशियंट इन दैट दैट्स वाई दैट बामन देव when he has come in front of bali maharaj he has just stopped them hey don't give anything to him because he is janana ja because he is janana ja rahe he is shukra ja rahe he is efficient in all material activities so sankirtan meda and griha meda there is a lot of difference there is infinity difference there is uh, infinity difference between them. heaven hell difference they is always efficient in material things and the sankirtan meda means i have already told about sankirtan meda that they have got full guru kripa on them and when they are just doing hari naam sankirtan they are all the time doing sankirtan they have all the time pratishthit in tatva siddhant and the glorification of devotees dham naam qualities of bhagwan swarup everything is there inside his heart all the time it is manifested inside his heart all the time why because he, that is sankirtan meda his intellect is it is very special is a prakrit like there are two persons propa 
दे आर स्पीकिंग अबाउट उस पर्सन दे आर जस्ट बिकमिंग वेरी प्रभुपाद ऑलवेज यूज टू गेट सरप्राइज वन इज बोथ ऑफ देम एक्चुअली हैव देयर हाउस इट इज नॉट एट ऑल फार अवे फ्रॉम माय प्रीवियस हाउस एंड आई हैव ऑलरेडी वेंट टू देयर प्लेस एज वेल वाइल्ड टेकिंग सन्यास हिज हाउस इट इज जस्ट नियर ग्रीन गोस दैट देर इज वन बिल्डिंग इन बिटवीन एंड वेयर देर इज गोरिया मठ इट इज ऑपोजिट टू दैट ऑपोजिट लेन हिज हाउस इज देयर and in between there is girish avenue and when you will be just going to that uh, pathway of girish avenue one day prabhupad ji actually just speaking to the devotees in the morning time that you just very immediately just call go to the bhag jagan mal bhakti ranjan house why in so good morning morning time you just need to go no you just need to go now only to his house and do naam sankirtan there in the house in his house why because after that he just got the news at that time jagat vandan bhakti ranjan just need to leave his body prabhupad is antaryami he knows each and everything he is just by doing naam sankirtan uh, jagat vandan bhakti ranjan just left his body so both this thing i just want to speak about these two uh, persons prabhupad always used to speak I am very much strange. It's sir, Pranjit. This kind of bestia vritti, banya vritti, business vritti is not going on. In a very enjoying mood, Prabhupada has just given them a title as well. This grammar is actually inside their heart. Whether it is controlled under Prabhupada, but in order to teach us, he is speaking. They have grammar with inside their heart. That's why their name, Prabhupada, actually giving them Shethi Acharya. Like our Guru Varg, they are giving the title to our Guru Varg. different different kind of names were given prabhupada actually giving in vishveshwaran das under vishnu vishnu das were they are giving different different title to our guru varg that he has this name upadeshak kisi ko somebody is upadeshak somebody is mahapadeshak somebody is given the name maha maha upadeshak nana kumud some like sant ko swami mara given bhakti kumud so like this prabhupada used to give different different titles so for them prabhupad giving in a very enjoying mood is prabhupad just given a choice of name shethi acharya for both of them shethi acharya shethi acharya means seth who are actually businessman they are acharya with business attitude they have lot the top most uh, uh, business prithi inside their heart they have got this nickname from prabhupad so this kind of uh, very difficult for them to do hari bhajan it's very difficult it is not at all easy to do hari bhajan so like this today here actually bhai bhakti no thakur vichar if we can see that that naam ka mahatva the glorification of hari naam it is written there so this actually those mukta jeev and badh jeev two kind of people are there mukta jeev and badh jeev categories are there mukta jeev who is mukta jeev in chaitanya jal tamre it is written there nitya badh nitya mukta who is nitya mukta for them they don't have any darshan and connection with maya they are already mukta they haven't come in front of my at all how it is possible if someone can ask bahut sare question aata hai lot of questions are coming regarding this how it is possible maharaj so this actually the baldav ji maharaj speaking this that those who are uh, uh, just uh, there are infinity jeevatma uh, they are all the time uh, doing uh, uh, bhagwat seva in vaikunt dham these nitya mukti ji and those who are badh jeev they are bahirmukh jeev jo log those who are maya aur maya they are at the border of maya and vaikuntha border and they are just getting attracted towards maya iska jo jolus hai they are actually their uh, attraction ye anand se they are actually just getting anand in maya so they are badh in badh avastha krishna holi sei ji panadi bahirmukh 
কৃষ্ণ বলি সেই যে অনাদি বহির্মুখ অতএব মায়াতারে মায়াতার দেয় সংসারাদি সুখ পুণ্য good and bad deeds and they have just got this subtle body in course of his traveling through 14 world that jivatma taking different kind of body sometimes kabhi raja ban jata sometimes he becomes a king sometimes he become a servant sometimes dog sometimes cat sometimes a uh, woman sometimes uh, man some so like this he is just getting into this good and bad deeds and he has just taken birth in this devi dham all the time is just taking birth and birth after each and every life anant kaal se he from infinity time it is like this anant kaal se aisa hi it is just going on like this from infinity time সীতা now that ravan who is taking the role of ram no no i can't do that role of ram i will do the role of ram i need the role of ram now how it is possible each and every person will will be just accepting his role then after that drama is possible otherwise not how it is possible to do drama other than that so bhagwan is vibhu vastu and uh, ভগবান স্বভাব ইস জীব দ্যাট টাটস্থ শক্তি ইস জীবা ভগবান টাটস্থ শক্তি ইস জীবা দাস এন্ড হি ইজ অ্যাকচুয়ালি দ্য সার্ভেন্ট অফ ভগবান নিত্য দাস ইজ আ সার্ভেন্ট অফ ভগবান দ্যাট উই হ্যাভ জাস্ট গট বাই স্পিকিং উই আর জাস্ট গেটিং দিস পয়েন্ট এন্ড জাস্ট টু গেট দ্য মঙ্গল অফ দোজ সার্ভেন্টস দ্যাট ইজ দ্য অ্যাকচুয়াল ডিউটি অফ ভগবান that is actual duty of bhagwan and he will be doing mangal to the servants with other mangal will be there bhagwan is that um, a servant of infinity brahman and every mangal of each and every jeev is in the hands of bhagwan only but this kind of vichar we don't want to leave this in bonded state our how we will do our own mangal who what guru they will do so this kind of conception is coming inside our heart so bhakti mata was speaking that das Das, the servant, what he is asking and what is already written in the Upanishad also. This already written in the Upanishad, no? as in the bonded jeevas what kind of sanskar is there according to that whatever they will just think what bhagwan can do in that just by kripa only we can just uh, give it to that because everything what to do what is good and what is bad everything is just given by bhagwan whatever good and bad it result it's all given by bhagwan material material uh, uh, good karma and all this karm kand everything bhakti mr thakur actually has written about this i have already just uh, done the discussion on this also before that all all the material people all the time they are thinking of the uh, good and bad deeds of this material world what is good and what is bad if we will not do out of this even one also that is not at all possible we have to do that uh, good or either we have to do bad this kind of propagation that is the actual dharma of jiva that is the actual uh, thing 
if you will not do anything apart from these two you just need to do uh, one thing out of that either good or either bad you just need to do that so whatever the fruit the result you will get out that good and bad did the jeevas have to just take that result affirmative there is given definitely they have to take the result of that good or bad activity what they are doing some people doing lot of good deeds they want to do but these kind of good deeds are all material all are material these, these are all material things that to get dedicated in bhagwan if he is doing then some result he good positive result he will get just by taking the ashray of bhakti but definitely this material karma they are uh, chinmay pravritti this kind of uh, deeds if you will be doing that from infinity pite but that chinmay pravritti will not get inside your heart they will not get activated inside your heart if you if you want that chit bhavna inside your heart if you want to get uh, chit bhavna inside your heart then by this method it will not happen at all why because whatever sadhan he is doing he has actually has that material result whether you are going up whether you going down up in a cyclic order you are just going like this in material maya so this good and bad deeds this is just kind of one network it will just spread one network and whether you have that desire to do or not it is doesn't matter it is just like a network i have just given that example that day that indra maharaj has a that about when he has just disrespected his gurudev prasapati what kind of problems he have got after that that he nobody is there to do the yagya and uh, he has just uh, asked vishwaru to do the yagya he is very powerful he has top most ashri panances he has power and just he is asking his uh, uh, he just asked his mama ji to came there and uh, indra maharaj he has just uh, called him in the form of guru and he is already a brahman also vishwaru and at that time he is just uh, acting as a gurudev and he has just uh, uh, cut his uh, throat and he just got the sin of that brahmatya and uh, he just got ran, ran away from that uh, sinful activity of brahmatya and what happened after that he just uh, divided that sinful sin into four uh, different parts he has i'm just speaking about the network of karmakand in front of you he just went to do the yagya like this this happened and after that again he wants to do that he has done drashta he has just killed his own son he has just vishwaru he has just killed his own swaru or son and he just want to get the after that yagya was done and when what the, what will happen in the yagya that there should be one that one powerful person will come out of that yagya to kill indra but there is actually sub mispronunciation of the mantra in the yagya so in that the indra uh, who will be killed by indra the indra will kill that person the vritta the part the it it doesn't uh, in the mantra it comes out the indra who will kill that person that indra will get uh, topmost vritti so the who will kill vritrasur he will he will get more power so he will get the reverse uh, fruit in that so in this karma kand what happened again fighting going on and again he just got the sinful activity of brahmatya and after that what happened he just went to the brahmana sarovar running and just taking the shelter of lakshmi devi uh, he where he can stay just by taking the fire only these demigods are getting the share and he is there in the water how he can get the share of the food and after that he is getting the ashwamedh yagya and rishi muni has just given him the confidence so this kind of karmakand network is going on 
not one uh, slowly steadily i'll be teaching about each and every network you will just become mad after thinking so all this is going on so there is no solution in that there is no solution in this the at what, what is the final conclusion it is all going like that everything will be going on there is no result positive result for that what to do so today we will just giving it rest today and tomorrow uh, just forgive me tashmad sankirtanam vishnur जगद मंगल मंहसा महतामोपिकौरभ्यो विधकृत बांछकल्पतुष के पास सिंधु विवच पतितान पावन विवश्नभ्यो नमो नमः